This Liberal government continues to be reactive rather than prepared. The VP of the Canadian Chamber of Commerce said if the Government of Canada has a plan for tourism, they've never shown it to us. Mark Weber of Customs and Immigration Union said his border agents are no longer agents, but instead have become IT consultants, and wait times have skyrocketed because of the inefficient Arrive Can app. He went on to say that they were never consulted on the app. No wonder our airports and land borders are a disaster and an embarrassment. Why would this government create a system without consulting the frontline workers who must implement it? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey. The Honourable Minister for Tourism. Mr. Speaker, not only do we have a plan for tourism, this side of the uh, this side of the aisle put in $23 billion to make sure that the tourism sector would recover. And who voted against it? That side, Mr. Speaker. Not there for workers, not there for entrepreneurs, not there for tourism operators. This side of the aisle has the backs of tourism operators. A federal tourism growth strategy is coming. We're going to boost tourism, we're going to boost this sector, and we are going to show the world what Canada has to offer. The Honourable Member for Hastings, Lennox you, and Mr. Addington. Speaker. Backlogs and delays at the border and points of entry are crippling our tourism industry. Whether it's a major event like the Toronto International Film Festival, or a small rural event like the Tweed Stampede and Jamboree in Hastings, Lennox, and Addington, our tourism industry is hurting. This government needs to take action to alleviate the absolutely unnecessary chaos. Mr. Speaker, when will this government stop slacking and start acting? The Honourable Minister. The colleagues on the other side of the aisle haven't caught up with the news, but this government has taken off random mass mandatory testing at the airports. It will be moved outside of airports July 1. We have no more PCR tests, no more rapid tests, billions of dollars that have gone to the tourism sector to keep them in off. Even the tourism, even the Greater Toronto Airport Authority has sent a letter to us thanking for us doubling down and working to make sure that the airports are functioning. We're going to get this right. The other side can yell and scream all they want, Mr. Speaker. We are going to boost tourism and welcome the world once again. The Honourable Member for Calgary, Rocky Ridge. Mr. Speaker, airports are in chaos. Global Affairs is partying with Russian diplomats oh. instead of expelling them. Okay. Immigration files are backlogged for years. Violent crime is up. Fraud is endemic. Inflation is out of control. The government doesn't even pretend to care about its deficits. And people are lining up all night just for a chance at a passport appointment. Will a minister stand up and take ownership for this disastrous delivery of basic services? The Honourable Minister for Mr. Speaker, we understand that there is an unprecedented demand to travel after these two years of pandemic. We are retooling and redoing processes so that we can absolutely serve Canadians as necessary. However, Mr. Speaker, what we're not doing on this side of the House is pretending that there was no pandemic, pretending that it didn't have an impact on a whole wide range of industries, Mr. Speaker. We're taking action. We have been there throughout the pandemic to support Canadians. We've taken responsible decisions, and we're going to continue to do that to serve Canadians. Thank you, Mr.